In today's FX markets, let's take a look at the British pound futures today as they're realizing a nice move higher here today. After three days of selling pressure, we're seeing a nice reversal today in the British pound futures up about a third of a percent currently right around the one spot 397 level. So just below the one spot four zero handle uh, and uh, recovering here as we did see uh, quite a bit of uh, selling pressure in a lot of the major uh, FX futures markets here the last couple of days with the dollar gaining strength. But now we're seeing the dollar reverse. We did see basically that reversal take place today. Initially, the dollar was stronger and we saw most of the major um, futures markets, FX futures markets flat to lower. But as we move through the day, we're seeing uh, the dollar coming under some selling pressure and most, again, these major uh, futures markets in the currency space uh, gaining some strength. And when you look at some of the driving factors, I think pri by and large, it has to do with the interest rate environment. Less volatility there today. The 10-year yield holding right around one spot four one. Uh, not too volatile of session today. The back end of the curve continuing to consolidate after all the volatility last week. Couple that with um, the messages being delivered before we go into the quiet period with the Fed officials continuing to indicate that they expect to remain accommodative uh, and supportive moving through this bout with perceived inflation. So uh, again, I think just solidifying their message that they don't intend to shift the narrative anytime soon. So I think the less volatility coupled with the Fed support is why we're seeing, again, some of these major FX markets finding the ability to rally here later in the session. Now, looking at today's performance, um, I want to point out that we really, when you look to uh, the main uh, participants to the upside, you have to look at the Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar, both having very strong days. And again, their central banks have been pretty adamant about maintaining interest rates uh, and, and stabilizing interest rates moving forward, not letting them get too far out of bounds. So maybe that's one of the reasons why we're seeing those uh, FX futures markets having a better session relative to some of the others. But overall, uh, we are seeing strength across the board with the euro, as well as the British pound, the Canadian dollar, uh, the Japanese yen, uh, Swiss franc, all having uh, nice days today, but being led by those uh, currencies uh, over in uh, the Asian region when you look at the Australian dollar and the New Zealand dollar.